Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, we'll be comparing the Eufy Cam 2C to the Eufy Cam E. I have individual reviews of these cameras and will link it down below so that you can check them out later on. Eufy has been updating the Eufy Cam 2C since my initial review and since the recording of this comparison video. And Eufy has stated that the alert notification speed will be improved in the upcoming updates. The maximum motion detection distance has also improved since my initial review. And as you will see later on, Eufy is also working on the spotlight motion activation at night and will also be updated in the upcoming weeks. Eufy has been proactive with this and also has updated and improved their doorbell and their floodlight cam, which you'll be seeing again in my upcoming videos later down the road. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking what are the differences between the battery-powered cameras that Eufy has been selling. I will link a PDF comparison that Eufy has sent me and this will answer all your questions about the cameras and their base stations. But for a quick comparison, the original Eufy cam with the original home base has AI with human and face detection and the only one that has facial recognition. The AI algorithm is stored in the home base. As to the Eufy cam 2 with the home base 2, it also has AI but human and face detection only. Also, the AI is on the camera itself. It has a new image processor and the only one that has the Sony Starvis sensor for better low-light footage. And this is mostly for night color recording. The Eufy Cam 2 is also HomeKit compatible. Both the Eufy Cam and the Cam 2 have a bigger battery that should last for a year before needing to be recharged. As to the Eufy Cam 2C, it's basically a different camera design and the smallest of all the Eufy cameras and it has a smaller battery that can last up to 6 months before needing to be recharged. This camera also has a spotlight. It uses the home base 2 which is the same as the Eufy Cam 2 and has the same AI capabilities. It is also the cheapest of all the Eufy cameras. It is also HomeKit compatible. As to the Eufy Cam E, the main difference is that it doesn't have AI. But if you connect it to the original home base and not the E version that it comes with, then it will be able to support it using the home base AI engine module. It is only IP65 weatherproof rated and will not be able to support HomeKit. As to image quality, supposedly the Eufy Cam 2 has the best video quality followed by the Cam 2C. We will see this later on and see if there is a difference when we compare the Cam E to the Cam 2C. All of the Eufy home bases can support up to 16 cameras. At this time, the Eufy Home Base 2 is the only one that can connect to all different cameras like the original Eufy Cam, Eufy Cam 2, Eufy Cam E, and the Eufy Cam 2C. Eventually, the original Home Base and the Base E will be updated to support the other cameras as well. I know, it is a bit confusing but I will link the comparison PDF file below and you will be able to compare and decide which camera system you will want to purchase. Let's get back to the comparison. Both the Eufy Cam E and the 2C are 1080p cameras recording in 15 frames per second, with the Cam E having a 140 degree field of view and the 2C with 135 degrees. Eufy has noted that the Cam 2C has a newer generation image processor which has a better dynamic range. Let's compare the video and audio quality. So this is the video and audio quality of the Eufy Cam E. So this is the video and audio quality of the UPCAM 2C. So this is the video quality test for the UPCAM E and this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, So this is the video clarity test for the UPCAM 2C and this is uh, 10 feet, 15, 20, 30. 
15, 20, 25, 30. Running that test. So this is the video quality of the Eufy Cam E and this with all the lights are off except for that one and night vision on and infrared LEDs on and this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25 and the light turned on, 30. So this is the video quality at night of the UFI Cam 2C and all the lights are off except for that one, a little bit of light and infrared LEDs on and the auto night vision on. And this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25 and the light turned on. 30. So this is the video quality of the UV Cam E at night and with all the lights on. And this is at 10 feet, 15, 30. So this is the video quality at night with the UV Cam 2C and I have to turn off uh, auto night vision because if not it's going to be still in infrared or black and white. So this is, this is with all my lights on. And this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30. This should be in color because the infrared LEDs are off. The UFI Cam 2C also has a spotlight but at time of testing it can only be activated manually and when you turn it on at night the camera will automatically change to color mode. UFI is working on getting the spotlight to turn on when motion is detected at night and will release an update soon. Both cameras uses PIR motion detection with adjustable sensitivity and also has customizable zones which you can add up to 3 zones. So now we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of both the UFICAM E and also the UFICAM 2C. I don't think there's no interference, so I'm gonna put both of them in away mode. So both the UFICAM base 2 and also my UFICAM, the original home base uh, for the UFICAM E, are on armed or away mode. So let's see who is faster. go and the 2c1 after that so the eufy cam e first and the eufy cam 2c1 uh, a few seconds later and this is mostly because of the ai on the eufy cam 2c so there's a little bit of a delay 
So we are going to test the maximum motion detection distance between these two cameras, the UFICAM E and the UFICAM 2C. And as to the UFICAM E, if I set it to the highest sensitivity, which I will do right now just for this testing, you will usually get a lot of false notifications or it's pretty sensitive. Um, so I got my activity zone right here. Okay. And with the, my UFI Cam 2C, it's always been the highest sensitivity, all motion on the AI and on the activity zones. Let's go. There you go. So I'll do that. I'll save that one. So almost the full screen. Okay, and highest sensitivity. And uh, with the UFI Cam 2C, even with the highest sensitivity, I don't get false notifications. So let's check it out and let's go wide here. And it's about 56 degrees temperature outside. And we'll go 30 feet first. I got the Yuffie Cam E and the Yuffie Cam 2C 30 feet that's great so the Yuffie Cam 2C has improved detection now as compared to my first uh, um, review the Yuffie Cam 2C has an AI algorithm feature that is in the camera itself and has human detection while the Yuffie Cam E doesn't have this feature at all both systems record motion detected events locally with the UFI Cam E in the base station using a micro SD card which has a 16GB card included, but can also be upgraded to up to a 128GB card. The UFI Cam 2C also records to the home base which has a built-in 16GB eMMC storage, which is not removable or upgradable. UFI has plans on adding a storage expansion using the USB port at the back of the home base soon. While we're talking about the base stations, the home base 2 of the UFI Cam 2C is smaller and is compatible with the other UFI battery powered cameras. The home base E is only compatible with the UFI Cam and the E version, but UFI said that they'll be updating this home base also so as to be compatible with other cameras via software in later updates. Both home bases can support up to 16 cameras and 32 UFI security sensors. They can also be connected via an Ethernet cable to your router or wirelessly using Wi-Fi. As to size, the UFI Cam 2C is smaller and has the 6-month battery life and has a 3.7V 6700mAh battery, while the UFI Cam E is bigger and has the bigger battery which has the 13400mAh capacity that can last up to a year before recharging. These rechargeable lithium-ion batteries are built in and not removable or replaceable. Yuffie states that these batteries can last 300 cycles. As to mounting options, the Yuffie Cam E has both magnetic mount and also the quarter 20 thread at the back for screw-in mounts, while the Cam 2C doesn't have the magnetic mounting option. Both cameras are weatherproof with a Yuffie Cam 2C rated at IP67, but Yuffie didn't state the operating temperature range. The UFI Cam E is IP65 rated with an operating temperature of negative 4 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Both cameras have two way audio. This is the audio coming out from the UFI Cam E. This is the audio coming out from the UFI Cam 2C. Both cameras have a manually and or motion activated siren. And their base stations have a siren that can also be activated manually or when the camera detects motion. The UFI Cam E has the anti-theft feature which when somebody forcefully removes the camera from the mount, it will trigger the camera siren and also the base station. The Cam 2C doesn't have this feature. As to smart home integration, both camera systems can be integrated with Amazon Echo devices and Google Home. The UFI Cam 2C is Apple HomeKit compatible. Siri. 
-hmm. Show me studio camera. The problem with the home kit is that the battery from last night is on now is only 37%. So what happens is that at night it turns on the infrared LEDs. I'm not sure if it's streaming all the time or it's just that the motion detector is off and the notifications is off. So it's always on, I'm assuming, and that's why it will drain the battery pretty quick. Well, that's it guys. Any questions, comment down below. And thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell notification so that you get notified when I upload comparison videos like this video, product reviews, product updates, and long-term reviews. Thank you.